I go to my room and flop down on my bed with the light still on. We marriage, huh? I never thought Mom would bring that up with me. Now that I think about it, Mom looks younger than her age and is really pretty. Um, I don't think that has anything to do with remarrying. Mom looks younger than her age and is really pretty. So, <laughs> so I guess it's not weird for men to be interested in her. Are you saying that if she didn't look younger than her age and wasn't really pretty, men wouldn't be interested in her? Wow, so mom's only redeeming traits are her young looks and pretty face? A dad, huh? I haven't seen my dad since elementary school. I repeat, I kind of hope he's dead because I don't find this okay. I haven't seen my dad since elementary school, but I should at least remember something about him. But I can't even remember his face. Wow, okay. Uh, Mom threw away all the albums, too. Am I that cruel to forget my own father? Well, um, if he hasn't been in touch... I mean, if he's, if he's not dead, but he's alive, and he hasn't kept in touch, I don't find this cruel. But I'm sure Mom remembers him. She probably hasn't forgotten, but she still chooses someone else to become her new husband. So, I should give her my blessing as her daughter. I want to support her. All right. I found my answer. The next morning, I greet Mom in the kitchen. Good morning, Mom. The room is lit by the morning sunshine. Mom, in an apron. So, she's so busy with work that she didn't have time to talk to us. And we haven't, and because she is so busy, we haven't been eating dinner together for two months, but apparently she has time enough to cook every day. Logic! Mom, in an apron, is standing in front of the stove and holding a frying pan. Good morning! She smiles at me. I thought about it all day yesterday, and I think it's fine if you get remarried. I really don't think it's up for you to decide. I don't think you really have any say in this. R really? Mom's eyes grow in reaction to my approval. Yeah, I want you to be happy too. I tell her what I thought about last night. Her eyes fill with tears. Looking at her face, I feel happy. Thank you, Mirai. Mom wipes her tears and instantly grins at me. Oh, but I forgot to tell you the most important part. The man I'm marrying actually has four sons already. How is this the most important part? Huh? My smile freezes on my face. He has four sons, and I think they're all younger than you. Huh? Her words echo inside my mind. Four boys. I think it is better with four boys than four girls. Not to be mean to my own gender, but girls are, for lack of a better word, difficult. Um, you know, we're moody, we have mood swings, uh, we're emotional, you have the once in a month thing. I, I know that I'm being very stereotypical right now, but there is a reason for it being a stereotype and in very, very many cases, I think that there's actually is correct. I know that they, to some extent, uh, exaggerate this in, uh, in, on TV and in movies, but in some cases it is also quite accurate. There are of course exceptions, but I can't picture it being easy for the poor guy or guys in a family with lots of girls. Four? I stare at mom. She tells me with her widest smile yet. They're all wonderful children. Does this mean you've been hanging out with them? So, okay, so you've been so busy that it took you three years to mention that you have been dating someone and is now planning on getting married to this someone. But you've had time to spend time with that someone's children 
Yet you are too busy to talk to your own child about any of this. The following Sunday afternoon, Mom brought me to a high-end Italian restaurant where my soon-to-be stepdad was already sitting waiting for us. I heard he's the same age as Mom, but he looks slightly older to me. Well, not everyone looks their age. Some look older, some look younger, and I believe it differs a little bit depending on the country. Not to mention, you said that Mom looks younger than her age, and if he is the same age as her, and he looks his age, then of course he should look slightly older. This man is going to be my stepdad. He looks like a nice and calm person. I'm relieved and more at ease now. How about it, Mirai? I am pretty sure that this is the the potential stepdad talking, but、uh, the name tag says it's mom. Anyways,、uh, how about it, Mirai? Want to come to my house? I'm sorry, um, but that sounds a little bit creepy. I know it's not intended as creepy, but it could have been worded differently. <laughs>、uh, we can take this chance to introduce you to your new younger brothers. I agreed with his suggestion. After lunch, I went with mom to my stepdad's house. But they're not married yet. It's not stepdad yet. What the heck? This place is a mansion. Uh, well, well, well when there are many people living in a house, it is better to have a bigger place. Uh, I remember my friend. She、uh, lived in a smaller house, and I almost only used the second floor. And、uh, they were the mom, the dad, her three older sisters, my friend herself, her two younger sisters, and two younger brothers. My mouth hangs open. The size of the property alone is huge. My house. Come on, you were only you and your mom. Of course, your house would only take up half of it. You were just two people. These are five. Ha ha ha! You're making a funny face, Mirai. What? I return to my senses. I'm suddenly getting a lot more nervous. I'm going to meet the four boys who live in this incredible house. But what should I do? Um, just be yourself. Introduce yourself. Be nice. You know, my stepdad opens the door. Everyone is in the living room. Please come inside. Just like you said, my new little brothers were waiting in the living room. Didn't they say there were four? I only see three. And don't tell me that there's not enough space for four people in the same picture, because there are clearly enough space for at least one or two more people here. And and if it is the case that there's not enough room, I think it would be better to have two plus two, not three plus one. Oh oh, sorry. Let's go back. The moment the door opened, they all looked at us. I avoid eye contact. I clench my right hand. My heart feels like it's going to stop. H- how do you do? I'm your new older sister. <laughs> Okay,、uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that Miyoji means last name, and that、uh, on the right side there was supposed to be a curly bracket、uh, because that would have told the system that it should input the, la- the name that you chose. <laughs> I'm your new older sister, Mirai. Last name. I say that while I hide behind my mom. Oh no, I'm super nervous now. I wish I could go home right this second, but it's too late now. My legs are shaking. I bite my lower lip. I work up the courage to look up. One, two, three. Oh, okay. So there is someone missing. Only three of the boys are present. Um, I heard there were four brothers. 
Yes, there are. One of us certainly had some urgent business to attend to. A boy with brown hair and a gentle expression explains the situation. My first impression instantly tells me he is the oldest son. Out of the three there, he does look the oldest. We were all together until a few minutes ago, when the <laughs> when the second son was suddenly called for club activities. But I think you should have a chance to meet him next time. A second son? Is that how you refer to your own brothers? Oh, I I see. That might be for the best. I can relax easier meeting only some of them at the same time. If there's only one person missing, does it really make that big of a difference? Nice to meet you. I'm the oldest son, Itsuki. Itsuki deeply bows his head. He appears to be the serious and cautious type. Really? So I was right. Thinking he was the oldest, I calmed down a bit, knowing that I can trust my instincts. There's no need for all these formalities standing around. Let's sit down. Stepdad urges us, so Stepdad doesn't even get his own name? He's only going to be called Stepdad? Not even my Stepdad, just Stepdad? We sit on the sofa. Hello, I'm the third son, Izumi. Izumi briefly greets me. He has long hair for a boy. I think it looks pretty normal. It's not that one. He looks thin. I wonder if he doesn't eat much. The boy next to Izumi jumps up excitedly. Oh. <laughs> no! What is this? He's just a kid. Wow, this is so appropriate. Who who decided that this is okay? I'm Hikari Usaka. I hope we can get along. He's super cute. <laughs> like a girl. Oh, poor guy. They may be brothers, but they seem really different. I heard from my father that you go to community college, Mirai. Y yes, I'm studying to be a nursery school teacher. A nursery school teacher, huh? Seems like the perfect fit for you. Um, you just met me. How do you know that? Itsuki smiles. His expression is friendly. What are you studying, Itsuki? I'm studying to be a doctor. I'm still in my first year of college, but I'd like to become a pediatrician. Itsuki is really smart. He studies until very l Why am I doing a voice for him? I'm sorry, just go with it. Itsuki is really smart. He studies until late every day. Hikaru says prou proudly? Like he's boasting about himself. He's cute. <laughs> Just like a doll or stuffed animal. He's number one at school. Isn't big bro Itsuki amazing? He is. I need to try my best too. Hey, listen to me too. I'm gonna be... <laughs> Oh, this is so inappropriate. I'm gonna be a middle schooler this spring, so help me out if I get any difficult homework, okay? Of course, if I can be of any help, feel free to ask me anytime. Hey, Hikari, don't just ask her for favors. You don't want to trouble her. Bull, why would you say that? I don't know you anymore, Itsuki. <laughs> don't make that face, Hikari. Itsuki suddenly looks troubled. I accidentally burst out laughing. Haha, <laughs> actually, he's the weakest when it comes to Hikaru. I thought so. Izumi is the only one who seems to be keeping to himself. Itsuki and Hikaru are sitting next to each other, but Izumi is sitting a bit away from everyone, including his father. How is school for you, Izumi? I don't go to school, he responds coldly. I have no desire to go to that noisy place. Everyone falls silent. Mom suddenly makes a pained face. She's likely in a panic that she didn't tell me ahead of time. Well, considering how good she is at planning, I am not surprised that she forgot to mention this. Actually, I would be more surprised if she did remember to mention this. 
but Izumi looks completely calm about it. Itsuki helps me with my studies, and that's all I need. Itsuki sighs. Actually, Izumi hasn't attended his middle school since the start of the year. Oh? But why? Spending time with people my age is stupid. Stupid? I frown. I thought there would be more mature kids in the second year of middle school, but that wasn't the case. Uh, so I remember me and the girls uh, made this mistake too. We were all looking forward to starting middle school because the boys there would be more mature than the um, less mature boys that we had come to elementary with. However, <laughs> we didn't realize that those were the same boys and that we would go to middle school with and you know they weren't exactly magically mature over the summer. He's still in middle school? I'm surprised because he looks like he should be in high school. With his personality, I can see how it would be hard to join in on his classmates' conversations. I'm at a loss for words. Hikawa sits up as if to save me from the situation. I'm gonna enter the same middle school as Big Bro Izumi next year. I repeat, why am I doing a voice only for him? The tension instantly lightens. Its gift fondly looks at Hikaru. Ah ha ha, I'm sure you'll have some difficulties in a house full of brothers, but I hope we can get along. 